I was born at San Jose Hospital in downtown San Jose. I was raised in a low income family. My childhood was happy because I got to do majority of what I wanted. I always wanted to be a Navy SEAL. And then my other dream was to be a, like a, a rap artist. I went to Hacienda Science Magnet in elementary school and we had a music program and I was always in musicals and plays and everything and we sung and danced. And so I was very interested in music, R&B, uh, uh, rap, hip hop. When I was 19 years old, I was writing music for a friend of mine. And he says, you know, if you keep writing music um, and work on your delivery, you can be somebody one day. And I was good at writing rap songs or orchestrating stuff in my mind and developing them and uh, making them collide together to collaborating like a conductor conducts the orchestra. Music is power. Um, they said he's talking to himself, he's delusional. I became a dope fiend, meaning I'd rather just smoke dope and that's all I did. I was homeless four and a half years because of that. I was diagnosed schizophrenic paranoia in Santa Clara County Main Jail, but my schizophrenic paranoia derives from um, or being organic, meaning drug and alcohol induced. And while being diagnosed with schizophrenic paranoia, I ended up having cancer. Um, after the chemo and radiation therapy treatment in 2004, I really um, broke down and started crying because I matured a whole lot. You know, it was it was like at 21 years old, you're going through chemo and radiation treatment. It's it's crazy. I was always in and out of the system, and then finally, I ended up being conserved. When I got conserved, they, they took me to Crestwood Manor and I was in a lockdown facility and I was literally like a, like a, like a, like almost a vegetable. That's the only word I could say because I was really lost. I didn't know what, I, I didn't know what was reality. And when I got out of Crestwood, I ended up at Momentum. A lot of the managers now and administrators and part of Momentum, they remember this. They like talking about that I ran a, like about a 45 people group. I didn't know what was going on with me until I just decided to get focused on what I needed to do. But it, it, I didn't get focused on what I needed to do until I went into a lockdown facility and I re-educated my mind, re-educated myself, got some coping skills. I, I learned to deal with my systems. It's hard to get paranoid now. It's, 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 it's extremely difficult to feel any symptom now. And I, I honest to God, even my psychiatrist knows this, that I even stopped hearing voices. So it's, it's pretty the darndest thing. I found the Lord at six years old. I, my mom's always had me in church um, as, since six years old. That's where I get the name um, Alize Six um, because I always feel like I've had the full armor of God, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, um, since six years old. After I left my ex-wife, I started being committed to the church. Well, I just want to show people that there are success stories and there's people out there making it. I'm a delivery driver now. And if I could do it, you guys can do it. I've been rock bottom, I've been through thick and thin, through the woodworks. I've been homeless four and a half years, and I was only homeless those lo that long because I was that comfortable. So get break out from comfortability and just start living life and enjoying yourself.